Hey guys, welcome back. Last Saturday, I got to ride with the Trail Mob 805. We had an absolute blast. And then on Sunday, I went out and got to ride with Robert, which is Noon Dog. I'll put a link down in the description if you want to check out his channel. This guy was a phenomenal rider. Every drop jump that I was just kind of looking at like I didn't want to do, he's like, oh, I'm going to do it this way and just freaking sent it. It was freaking awesome. It's always great when you get to ride with somebody that's better than you. But at the end of the ride with Robert, I ended up breaking, of course, my dropper post lever. So that kind of sucked. But either way, it'll be nice to kind of get a video in on shortening one of these cables. I've been talking about how nasty this rat's nest is for a long time now. We'll go ahead and at least start with the dropper post cable. I get to ride in Santa Cruz next weekend. I don't want to take all this apart and re-bleed all the brakes right now knowing that they work great. So at least we'll start with this one, shorten it up. And then in the future, we'll go ahead and short the, shorten the brake cables and the brakes themselves at a later date. But for today, that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to pull this cable out, take the seat post out, pull the cable out most of the way, shorten this cable up, put it all back together. We have plenty of cable in here. It only broke at the end, which is kind of cool for me at least. I don't have to buy a new cable. I'm going to go ahead and reuse the same one. Just kind of cut it, clean it up, run it back through, put it back in and get us ready for Santa Cruz this weekend. So let's get to work. For the first piece of this puzzle, I think the best thing we could do here is kind of figure out at what point I think is the maximum length before you start ripping this cable out of the dropper post. And I think that's probably about right there. So I could get this much cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it just a little bit more and we're gonna go with right about there. And what I'm gonna do is take a little piece of red electrical tape, find my limit of what I want here, and we're gonna go ahead and stick some tape on there. So I'd say this is about where I wanna cut my cable. I'm gonna cut it just behind here. So then it'll be a nice and tidy short cable. And like I said, in the next video, we'll go ahead and shorten the rest of these because they're all, it's probably time to bleed the brakes anyway. So I'd say that's step one. We know where we wanna cut the cable. So we need to loosen our dropper seat post cable, which is a four millimeter, obviously not very tight. They're only torqued to like six Newton meters, which is like nothing. And then we can start working our dropper out. Oh, there we go. It came right out of there. I'll get a better close up when we put it back together. So you can see where the cable just kind of grabbed on and we have that little piece at the end there. Now you can see how we've already pulled the cable out. Kind of push this cable in if you're having a hard time messing with it. What we're going to do is make it a little easier on ourselves and run this cable all the way up to here. So now you can see I can force this cable all the way through back to the other side and I'm gonna cut it because it's really, really jacked up. There we go. I was able to run the cable right back through. The thing that sucks about cutting cable like this is that I don't recommend this method and I am not succeeding right now. So we'll see if this guy has a little more bite a little bit, a little more bite. I'm gonna pull this cable out roughly about yay long, which is definitely much longer than where I'm looking to cut this cable. When I do this, what I'm gonna do, because I don't have like a good pair of shears to cut these, so I'm gonna try and do it with something that's gonna cut really fast, which would be either like a angle grinder with a cutting blade or a Dremel with a metal cutting blade, I think would be the smoothest and easiest way to do this. So that's what I'm gonna do. Use my Dremel, metal cutting blade, so that it's clean. All right, don't forget iPro for any time you're running shit like this. We're gonna just go ahead and try and zip it off there. So if you've never used a Dremel before, one of the better things you could get with a Dremel is gonna be this little tiny metal cutting blade. I go through so many of these, they're fantastic. But this should make a nice clean cut. Go. And then from here, we should be able to put the end cap back on. Yep, just fine. So now we have the end cap back on there as well. I like it. We'll go ahead and push the cable through one more time just to make sure we don't have any issues. And it looks like we are having issues with the end cap. And that's probably because our cable is not very clean. It's not cleanly cut. And that's gonna be annoying. Yeah, you can totally tell. All right, so we're gonna try again to Dremel this thing to see if it'll cut a little bit better than my wire cutters did. So I still think, honestly, the Dremel cut is better. So you can see, even though it frayed it slightly, that is a much cleaner cut than what my dykes could do. So that's what we're going with. I think that's the ticket. Should be able to take and put our little nipple back on here just fine. There we go. So it went on there just fine. It's nice and clean now. So I think at this point we could put the dropper back on and run it back down. This dropper 
Just goes over the top. That little cable locks in like that. Go ahead and pull this tight. Make sure we hold on to that cable and this cable at the same time. Feed it all back in. All right. Bring her back up to my desired position. Got the seat post back in. Got her lever good. Got plenty of cable. I'd say that's success. All right, so now that we've got our cable back through and ready to go, so the next thing is we need to remove the broken cable that's still in there. There's a little hex key up top here. Two millimeter. So go ahead and loosen that up. We're gonna take it quite a bit of the ways out because I don't want to fray the new cable that we're putting in. All right, so now to try and feed our cable through all this. So I'm gonna run the cable through there. Obviously my cable's way too damn long. All right, so it went through just fine. Stick this guy in here. Try and spin it so it's not in a weird place. I should be able to, yep, pull my seat up just fine. Nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna run it up to its main position and then tighten this down, and then we'll go ahead and test the dropper post and see if it's working before we cut all this excess off. Tighten it down just enough so it's grabbing it. All right, so we take the bike off the stand. We'll reline up the seat back to my normal position, which is obvious because it's kind of dirty right there, but that'll be it. Six Newton meters. So now we'll make sure that the seat post actually works. Our lever, look at that. We're back in the game. We're ready for Santa Cruz next weekend. Maybe we'll tighten this guy up a little bit more. Nice, freaking game on. It's time for some Santa Cruz fun. But for here, I won't go ahead and make you guys go through another cutting. I'm just gonna cut this line with the Dremel again and call it good. So thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you learned something here. Uh, I know it's a simple job. I know I wanna shorten every single cable on this bike because the cables are just absolutely ridiculous, but I'm kind of lazy and I don't fix things until they're broken. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys next week.